Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some huge upgrades coming to T-Mobile. You know, ever since the, you know, the T-Mobile and Sprint merger, the network has really started to reform itself. It's, it's unrecognizable. It's very different. There are places around this country where the capacity is absolutely incredible. And I've seen the screenshots and I've seen people share screen, uh, you know, screen captures of speed tests. And it's been really good for a lot of people. I feel like this video is just a reminder of the upgrades that are soon to come at a grand scale for this company. And honestly, it's really good to see. So the T-Mobile network with these upgrades that are ongoing are really starting to add tons of capacity to the 5G NR side. So what this means is more and more of the you know current tower sites are being upgraded. They're receiving the you know band 71 upgrades through the form of 5G, the 600 megahertz. That's their low band 5G also. 2.5 gigahertz upgrade uh, for the mid band. So from the N41 side, more antennas, new antennas, new carriers, you know, sites that never had these upgrades before. And what they're doing is they're boosting capacity and speeds and range all simultaneously. So with the 600 megahertz, you get the range improvements. With the 2.5 gigahertz, you get the capacity improvements. T-Mobile is also starting to really ramp up the channel width. So they're going from 60 megahertz on pre-existing sites to basically upgrading them to 80 megahertz with a simple update. So what that's going to do for you, how is that going to help you? They're wider channels. They're going to give you greater capacity. They're going to give you faster speeds. So if you're in an area that has been struggling with congestion, this should help quite a bit. So in a substantial way, I think that, you know, this has been happening for the last several weeks and now it's really starting to catch traction, uh, traction, excuse me. And you know, with that additional capacity, I think T-Mobile Engineering is doing a good job. I think they're finding a groove. I think the upgrades are happening fast and furious. And if you've got a 5G device, you can capitalize on all of this. iPhone 12, Samsung Galaxy S20, S21, uh, the Note 20, you know, these types of devices, it's going to be very noticeable. If you were getting 300 megabits before, maybe you're seeing something like 400 or 500 megabits now with this upgrade. It's quite possible. There are places where obviously T-Mobile is going to have to upgrade more in terms of the fiber backhaul. That seems to be the case in the CLE, but other places it's really cooking right now. And, you know, with the N41 channel getting wider and with the tower density hopefully improving, uh, more of the sites getting the N41 upgrades, it's going to be a more substantial and noticeable difference in capacity and speed. So if you look at the screen capture here, you've got N71, you've got N41. Both of those are substantial standalone 5G channels. And then where it's applicable, it's very sparingly available, but you will see N260 and N261 for millimeter wave. Things are really coming together for the T-Mobile 5G network. Let me know what you think of these upgrades. Let me know if you've tested it, if you have access to 80 megahertz, if you've had it, you know, how is it performing? What type of speeds you're getting? I'd love to hear what you have to say. Go ahead and, you know, sound off in the comment section below, the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.